Home Group is a new feature of Windows 7 that makes it easier than ever to get computers working together. If you have two or more Windows 7 computers that are connected using a wired or wireless network, you can create a home group for these computers so they can communicate with each other. In this example, we have two computers named Karen PC and Tony PC that are networked together. Both computers are running Windows 7 and Karen wants Tony to be able to access documents on her computer. Karen decides to create a home group. To do this, Karen opens the Network and Sharing Center by clicking on its icon in the notification area of the taskbar. Note that a home group has not yet been created. Karen clicks Create Now to create a new home group. She decides to share her documents and printers with other computers that join the home group. Clicking Create Now creates the home group. A password is displayed that others can use to join their computers to the home group. Tony now wants to join his computer to Karen's home group so he can access documents stored in her shared documents library and use her shared printers. Tony asks Karen for the password needed to join his computer to her home group. Once he knows the password, Tony opens Network and Sharing Center on his computer. Your network location must be set to Home Network before you can join a home group. Tony clicks Available to Join. Tony confirms that Karen's home group is available to join. He then clicks Join Now to join his computer to Karen's home group. Tony decides to share his pictures and his music libraries with Karen's computer. Tony clicks Join Now again and types the password Karen gave him. He then clicks Join Now again. Tony's computer has now joined Karen's home group. To verify that he can access a shared documents library on Karen's computer, Tony opens Windows Explorer. To verify that he can access the shared printers on Karen's computer, Tony opens Devices and Printers.